Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to a Noah video on the channel. So today I'm going to be taking a look at exactly what this new meta is looking like. So basically all the brawlers that feel broken to me, all the brawlers that pros are playing a lot right now in scrims and stuff like that. Also brawlers, they are banning a lot because obviously if they're banning them, then they don't like to play them because they are, or they don't like to play against them. Sorry, because they are very, very good. Of course, before we do jump into it, make sure to subscribe. We're getting so close to 200k and 61% of you guys are not subscribed. All so if you're picking anything up in the shop, make sure you're using a crate code. If you want to support me, you can use code Tom in the shop. And of course, make sure you're leaving a like on the video. Let's jump into it. Okay, so first up, we have Jackie. Jackie is incredibly strong right now, in my opinion, and is now, I think, the best tank uh, in the game. Uh, overtaking, of course, like Buzz and kind of Mortis, obviously including some aggressive rulers here, not all tanks necessarily. But yeah, I definitely feel like Jackie is pretty much the best tank right now. The reason being that super is so, so good. Also, you're going to get that super now by taking damage, which obviously like a couple... I don't know, a couple of updates back wasn't the case, and now the soup is very usable. Um, so yeah, it's it's very, very good. And I also feel like, I don't know, I feel like you still cannot play Jackie just on her own, just randomly. It still has to be with a good comp and stuff like that. Like with any tank, you're gonna really struggle unless you're playing, say, a, a healer comp, or if you are unless you are playing, say, Poco Max Jackie, that's a great comp. Uh, so unless you're kind of building the comp around tanks, you're still gonna you're still gonna struggle with Jackie. But I do feel like Jackie has improved their ton and if you're looking for an aggressive brawler to use now jackie is going to be pretty much that first one that you always go to just because jackie is so so strong right now so yeah i definitely feel like again jackie is very very good the best tank in the game but still you're still needing to play jackie with uh, like a poker double tank or a poker max jackie uh you still have to build the comp around just like pretty much any other tank in the game you're not just going to be bringing out like a random buzz a random uh i don't know <laughs> just a random tank but you can see what this super can do it's just so so good honestly guys uh the best aggressive ruler right now in my opinion jackie is so so good okay so next up we have bell so how good is bell after these changes so initially i felt like bell is still very very solid it's not gonna be like as where before you were like oh what should we go here it's an open range map medium to open range map oh we go bell mid you know we go bell lane whatever you know it's not like that anymore where you kind of need bell in every single comp but it's still gonna be a very very solid option um, but yeah, what does this mean for the rest of the meta? It means that we're probably going to see a little less Piper because Piper was really used just to counter a lot of Bell. Um, and also we're probably going to see more 8-bit comps because 8-bit does tend to, uh, did tend to kind of struggle against Bell. So now we're going to see less Bell. We're probably going to see a little more 8-bit. Also, we're going to see more of these healer comps like more Pan, uh, more Poco and more Ruffs just because, you know, any kind of Tora and, uh, I guess, you know, with the, that Ruffs comp, you want to group together and obviously group them together with, against Bell. That was not going to be a good idea. Um... And also, yeah, more like turrets, like Pam, and like those kind of brawlers, just because of, of obviously, um, you know, <laughs> if you got a turret, then Bell can just hit it and bounce it off you and the turret. Then obviously, uh, turrets are going to be uh, buffed a little bit, essentially, by this by this change, because you're going to see less Bell. Uh, hopefully, Surge doesn't TP. I don't know if he has TPs left, but yeah, we're going to try and uh, pick up the win. So yeah, I still feel like Bell is very good. It's just not as broken as before. Honestly, this is probably a perfect balance change. Um, because, you know, Bell is still very playable, still very, very good, just not completely broken like it was before. Screeching Solo is going to come out. We are getting pinched to which I don't really like. The last two players left are going to pinch us there, and that's going to be an L. You hate to see it. Okay, next up we have Brock. Brock, incredibly big buff, um, and yeah, if anything... Brock is probably a top three, definitely a top three brawler in the game. Um, I don't know. You can use Brock as mid. Like, it's just so easy to hit those shots. And now it's easy to hit those shots. It means you're going to get that super quick. It means you can open up the map quicker, which means you're going to see more wall break comps and generally a, a slightly more long range meta than we would have otherwise seen. Going to get a nice super off there. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I just feel like it's just so easy to hit your shots. Honestly, Brock feels so, so broken. And I absolutely love it, to be honest, because I don't know. I just like playing Brock. Brock is a very, very fun brawler to play. Looks like Bo is going to super that away. Um, but yeah, you're going to see a lot of Brock mid. You're going to see Brock lane on backyard. So, so I, like, I don't feel like it's... Uh, it hasn't changed where you can play Brock too much. And now I would say, because it is just so easy to hit your shots, you're going to see a lot more Brock mid, um, particularly after the bell nerf. 
Also, you're gonna see Brock on all these maps you did before, where you saw Brock like a little bit. You're probably gonna see Brock every single game. So on maps like Minecart, Hard Rock Mine, maps like Backyard Bowl, anything with those long range, you're just gonna see a lot more Brock. And I love it. Okay, so next up we have Meg. I'm sure a lot of you guys are really interested to see um, my thoughts on Meg. And, you know, uh, right now, because Meg is banned in competitive, we won't really see uh, Meg in competitive until, like, at least after this, this weekend. Uh, which, I don't know, I feel like, I do feel like Meg is just so, so broken. Uh, the thing is, like, where does Meg actually lose? Because I was thinking, like, the wall peak isn't that good, but when you get this, when you're in super, you get this basically BB attack super, which is just so, so strong, and that's gonna win any lane for you, pretty much. So even though, you know, it feels like Meg potentially is not too strong, or, like, close range, it is very strong close range, because you do uh, have this kind of dash. It looks like we're gonna go for a trick shot. Oh my, that was awful. What was that? Okay. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna go down here. But yeah, particularly on open maps like backyard. I just can't see I just can't see Meg not being completely broken that that's my initial opinion is uh, that will, uh, Especially in this like if we have a Brock Meg kind of meta It's gonna mean that we don't see a lot of other brawlers because they they're just gonna Perfectly work with each other because you're gonna open up the map and it's gonna like with Brock and it's gonna mean it's perfect for uh, obviously Meg and I don't know, I just feel like that could potentially be a meta that we see uh, like a very, very, we could very, very easily see a Meg and kind of Brock meta just because they do kind of complement each other pretty well. Uh, looks like they're just going to kind of leave the goal open there. Oh, we were just about to super that in and we are going to get taken down. But yeah, as I said, I think expect Meg to be a, Meg to be a top three brawler. Um, right now, as I said, it's pretty hard to tell because no one's playing Meg in streams because it's just like auto bands because it's not in play in competitive right now. But I would expect that Meg is going to be completely broken. I've played Megan at Masters and Power League and uh, yeah, I'll probably upload that video later today uh, on my on Toxic Tom, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, just of like literally just playing Meg at, at Masters to see, you know, how good really is Meg and can you just play on literally every single map? Is she that broken? But honestly, like I thought I would not like the kind of... Um, you know, like the first phase where you don't have your big super. I thought like Meg would be so bad there, but it, I don't know. So it's growing on me. It's growing on me. It's definitely growing on me because I definitely feel like you can, you can just still sit back, chip the enemy, and honestly, you, you can kind of hold your lane. Okay, we're gonna miss that there. Uh, but yeah, I honestly feel like you know Meg is gonna be completely broken. Uh, but it will obviously be interesting to see. Edgar's gonna stop that, but no worries. That's gonna be a GG in this one. Uh, yeah, so expect Meg to be seen in like all competitive games when honestly uh, she is available in competitive. Okay, so next up we have Ash. I'm sure a lot of you guys are kind of interested. How good is Ash gonna be in this meta? So in my opinion, still one of the best brawlers in the game. We're gonna go down there. Looks like we did actually end up doing 2K. But yeah, I think Ash is still gonna be incredibly good. Top three brawler in my opinion. Um, but still saying that you need to still play a healer with that with Ash. Uh, I'm not, bro, I'm just thinking right now. Imagine, imagine Meg, Ash, and then just like a Poco or Byron. Like literally the most two. <laughs> that's gonna be so broken. I know that comp is gonna be everywhere. I'm sure very very soon. But yeah, um, expect to see a lot of Ash. Honestly, I feel like people have learned to counter Ash a little bit. The best counters, in my opinion are like just a spike or like a B, somewhere you can kind of slow Ash down, but still you need to play Ash with a healer to be really, really broken. Still feel like Ash is gonna be incredibly strong though, and we're gonna see a lot of bans and kind of plays for Ash in terms of the competitive side of things. But that's gonna be a super there. A lot more screeching we're seeing as well, which is kind of interesting. Just gonna heal up for a second here. We don't need to pop our gadget. You don't want to use that gadget because, uh, well, like, when you don't need to, because you really don't want to waste that super because or the the rage because the rage is honestly the most important thing um, about Ash. That's gonna be a goal left. Yeah, so try and not use that gadget unless you like really really need to, because you don't want to ever waste that rage. So I end up just <laughs> probably end up using it less than I should. But yeah, definitely try and use it as like, only in emergencies, basically. Okay, that's gonna be okay. That's gonna be a hill for them. We're actually gonna go back because potentially Surge would would be able to score this. Let's see. I'm gonna stay up. We kind of need the extra damage here to potentially stop this goal. So we are just gonna wait. That's gonna be okay. That's gonna be a nice value shot there. He's gonna be going down. We don't necessarily need to pop our gadget yet because we're gonna be able to stay alive here. Um, and yeah, pretty comfortable game so far. But again, Ash with Ash with healer or double healer is still, in my opinion, gonna be extremely strong. Um, so definitely don't count Ash out of this meta just yet. 
Uh, but it looks like that is... Oh, shouldn't have all twin with Ash. <laughs> he just never hit your shots. Anyway, they're going to pass it up here. That's going to wrap things up here. And that's going to be a GG. Okay, guys, that is going to wrap it up for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed my kind of thoughts on the initial meta we are seeing right here. Of course, top five brawler video will be out very soon. Didn't want to rush it. Wanted to make sure I had the perfect top five for you guys. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.